Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 21st through the 25th of June 2013. A powerful coronal hole formation has just rotated the eastern limb of the solar corona and the energetic components of this region may represent a foreshadow for a 7.8 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at the latest chrono hole information with a split screen of the SDO composite and also the 193 angstrom with solar monitor where we see an extremely large chrono hole formation fully rotated the eastern limb of the solar corona. Now this very large chrono hole formation does cover a large region. It spans from 18 to 40 degrees north latitude and its size and shape does look to be very similar to North America. We're now looking at the magnetic field lines exiting this very large coronal hole formation. They are exiting from 20 to 28 degrees north latitude and this would be a good indicator of where the high speed solar wind stream from this very large region will be buffeting the Earth's magnetic field. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map which is an animation expressing the Earth facing position represented by this black dot and oval moving from right to left on the screen. Now the important aspect of this data is that it shows when this large coronal hole formation will fully move through an earth facing position and that will occur on June 22nd and that would mean that this very large coronal hole formation will become geoeffective and produce earthquakes during June 21st to June 25th. We are now looking at the latest WSA Enlil solar wind prediction animation. This is showing the arrival of a high speed solar wind stream expected to buffet the earth's magnetic field early on the 19th of June. So we should see a rise in solar winds from around 300 to 500 kilometers a second during that time frame. Now it is important to note that we do have a full moon lunar perigee or supermoon on June 23rd. This is the moon's closest approach for the year where it will be less than 357,000 kilometers to the earth. Now this is a very highly energized and charged day but the energies involved should culminate prior to the peak and that would indicate a heightened earthquake potential for June 21 and 22 ahead of the supermoon. We're now going to look at this very large coronal hole formation with solar monitors 211 angstrom filter range. Now what is interesting with this very large region is a mirrored symmetry on both sides and that's an indication of a shockwave disturbance and it seems to be around 28 to 32 degrees north latitude on the solar corona. I'm now going to plot and map this large coronal hole formation and its energetic components to the Earth to find a possible epicenter for this forecasted 7.8 magnitude earthquake. After further analysis of moving imagery, I have isolated two regions within this coronal hole formation which are of interest for this watch. For June 21-22 time frame, the main area of focus will be 22 to 27 degrees north latitude. Now if we don't get a very large earthquake during that time frame, I will expect a strong earthquake in the rear flank of this coronal hole formation situated from 37 to 40 degrees north latitude. With solar symmetry to the earth, my number one area for concern is for the Gulf of California. Now we have had some shakes in the Macquarie Islands over the last few days and that's a good indicator of energy migration heading towards the west coast of the United States. So it's definitely worth monitoring during this watch. And my second area for concern is for the Philippine Plate, specifically the western side of Taiwan and the Ryukyu Islands, or on the eastern side of the Philippine Plate, the Volcano Islands Japan region. And my final area of concern is for the regions of southeastern Iran or the regions of Gujarat, India. And finally, a small coronal hole formation located in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm expecting a shake over the next 24 to 36 hours, today or tomorrow, June 18 or 19. And this is log entry 319, available on the SolarWatcher website. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 18th of June, 2013. For more information, please visit SolarWatcher.net, where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.